And alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the Sub Developed YouTube channel. Beautiful people, let's go. The best men's channel on YouTube, no cap. The wheats and the tears are splitting. Get yourself ready, guys. We moving forward towards the kingdom in this life and the next. With that, hope you guys are having an amazing day. Comment below where you're from. What time is it? Hashtag self-developed army. And let's get this video going. So guys, with that said, in today's video, I titled it, or believe I titled it, no, I titled it, guys. Three red flags to look for in women, or your next woman, or your wife, essentially, guys, right? You know on this channel that we follow Christ, we pick up our cross, and we endure. We live a biblically-based life. You can check my second YouTube channel, where I go much deeper into the verses, etc., etc. This one, or this channel, I should say, is more of just my experience. It's more of a freestyle. If you guys do want, though... Check that uh, to really get the nitty gritty. With that, let's jump into red flag number one. And really guys, to just fill in the blank, all three of these red flags revolve around this woman not wanting to be a godly woman. What is a godly woman? This is a woman who submits to a man uh, for his authority to lead you uh, towards God. You know, there's nothing, you know, we live in such a sad society where when you hear that word submit to your man, it sounds oppressive and it sounds misogynistic and it sounds, you know, whatever political agenda they shove down your throat, when in reality, that's the most base thing any woman or man can do because as men, we submit to Christ. I mean, a woman's not going to submit to you if you don't submit to a leader above. There's a hierarchy in life, guys, and you may think, oh, well, you know, why are men above women in this rank of hierarchy? And that is because of responsibility. If a robber comes to your door, no matter what political agenda you have, our physiology and our biology will take over. When a man is in threat and a woman is in threat, a man's going to step up, okay? You can, you know, put, you know, everything aside. Oh, how tall you are, how, it, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. You cannot override thousands of years of uh, biology, okay? So with that, that's where it all stems from. Let's begin to the video. Red flag number one, guys. This is a woman, first and foremost who cares about her looks more than her soul. Okay, now I, uh, I I have these two buddies that I coach, these two, they're like my sons. I'm not gonna say their names, they're like my son, 17 years old, and I mentor them. And we were eating at a food place literally an, about an hour ago after the gym. And they were like, David, you know, there's this girl, you know, she seems like she likes you and she's pretty A, B, C, D. They're like, you know, man, you gotta go for that. You know, they're encouraging David, you know, hit it, A, B, C, D. And uh, I let them know, obviously they know I'm celibate till marriage, but I was really, purveying the message that guys you know looks uh, for a woman when you become a true follower of christ you supersede the physical i really mean that guys now i'm not saying i'm the best looking guy or anything like that in fact as you follow this path you care less and less about looks now i'm not saying date or marry an ugly woman you're not attracted to no but i told them guys i don't care how beautiful she is if she's not following christ with me if she's not following god with me you're a zero it's not like our metrics as Christian men completely change when you change, or sorry, when you follow the kingdom of God. And again, I need to make this clear. This is not a mean thing or a bad thing at all. In fact, this is the most liberating thing. This is like the most anti-feminist, you know, doctrine you can hear of. I'm looking at your soul. Again, I'm not saying date a woman you're not attracted to and vice versa, but date or be or, or marry someone that is, like, are they a genuine helpmate to your team? Guys, I'm at a point in my life now, I'm 25, I turned 25 a few days ago. Yes, happy birthday, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, guys, we have no time, this actually leads us straight to red flag number two. We have no time for arguments, right? Arguments and catch up. I, let me put it this way, guys. I've been on monk mode now for almost a year. I'm a righteous, God-fearing man, right? Or in the pursuits of being as righteous as I can. I have my life in order, I do my stuff, I have a level of peace, right? I have absolutely no time to bring on an employee, a teammate, a help partner if there is going, or if she or it is going to cause extra stress to my life, to that mix. If I've already created my mix, my order, my level of routine and service to God, if I am to bring someone on that, just like an employee, it is to what? Help the business run smoother, help my day run smoother, help there be a more level of ease. Guys, you need to genuinely ask yourself, for a lot of you guys in relationships, okay? Is your life or has your life 
the level of ease, the level of prosperity, the level of movement and direction. And I feel this is kind of a faulty question to ask you guys because the majority of men are not based to begin with. Like, you don't know what your mix is. I, I've been on monk mode almost a year. I know what my mix is, my default, how my life is default by myself. I know what that's like. A lot of you guys don't, unfortunately, so you have to get on monk mode. But genuinely ask yourself if you have done this to an extent. Has your life improved or only gotten more chaotic since this woman's come into your life? And if the answer is uh, chaotic, number one, that's your fault as a man because you didn't secure this. So we don't blame women. I need to make that very clear. We don't ever blame women. Guys, your woman is just an extension of you, right? So if you've put in a good recipe, you have a good mix, you've, you've put in your time. If you guys check my last video, I spoke of the three phases, right? Monk mode. Step two, God sending you your wife to vet, and then number three, you marry. That woman, right, God sending you that woman is a mere representation of the work or the lack of work you've put into phase one, which is monk mode. Do you understand? As men, our sole reason and purpose why we're here put on earth is for phase one, is to build ourselves, to be like Christ, to pick up a cross, endure, become righteous, base, financially, spiritually, mentally, physically. That's you on default, like I said. That's your, it's like when you customize a character. I'm playing God of War right now, and you can customize him with like the coolest suit, and I don't know, all this, whatever, customize your buttons. But then there's a bottom button that says, you know, click reset settings. Go back to default settings, right? You can customize your remote control, right? Oh, I want circle to do this instead of this. But at the end of the day, when you click reset, everything goes back to normal. What is your normal? You, you guys, that's kind of what I'm saying. Maybe that's a bad analogy. You need to find your normal, your homeostasis. When everything, right, all the dust settles, what does your life look like? I know what my life looks like because the dust has settled. This is a perfect example, actually, because I have a feeling I'm about to go very heavily into the world which is chaotic by nature to bring levels of objectivity, right? And go on podcasts, events, interviews, kind of do a little world tour. I was planning on doing that earlier. I went to see Elliot Hulse, but then I, God put me on halt and I really, you know, dug my roots even deeper with Christ where I feel now I'm about to go back out. Could be wrong. But when that's all said and done, I know my life, like who I am. No girl, no this, no that, no events, nothing, just bare bones what my day-to-day -day is like. And you need that on lock. That's so important, guys. If there's one thing I can teach you from these videos or what I've learned uh, through being on monk mode for, I think, 11 months now, coming up to a year, I'm not saying it's easy, guys. I'm not saying Satan is not gonna attack you. I've been getting, I go through spiritual warfare like you guys. Don't get me wrong. That's why I always say you have to endure to the end. A lot of Christians don't like to believe that. They're all lukewarm and they're sissies to, you know, put it nicely. You have to endure, right? Find your homeostasis. Find your day-to-day -day bread and butter, chop wood, carry water. What that is for you. You got your job. You have a good mental space. You're making your money. You're chopping wood, carrying water. It's not easy. It's not always fun and glamorous, but it's, it's based. You got that. Before you add anything else into the mix. I love the analogy of like a cake mix. I talked to my friend about this. You better have a good cake mix, right? So if icing comes... Because don't think the icing is going to make it better. It could, be, it could be rotten icing. But you know, if it is rotten icing, okay, well then leave. I got my cake mix, baby. My cake will sell by itself. Will the icing help? Yes. But the icing is a, is a mere reflection of the cake or lack of cake you have. Like, icing is not going to fix a bad cake. So if you have a good cake, right? I mean, first and foremost, if you, this is a perfect example. This is why I speak in metaphors to you guys. If you have a good cake, you're not going to tolerate bad icing. Right? I've spent five years building my cake mix. You think I'm going to throw that all away just for some quick icing because it has sparkles? Right? Grow up. That's basically what step one and two is. You know, like I said, they were telling me at the dinner earlier today, you know, David, she's really pretty. She seems like A, B, C, D. She likes you. You're kind of like like-minded. And I told him, I was like, buddy, look, if she's not following Christ, if she is not a mere... If there is no congruence, we're not team partners. If there's arguing, right? I have to, I gotta fix this icing now. Are you kidding? I don't have time to play catch up, guys. Neither do you. I don't, I spent five years to bake my cake. That was your job to fix the icing. Now you're coming here and I have to set this apart to fix your icing? Do you understand? We don't have time to play catch up with men. You come equally yoked, baby. Okay? It's not to say, guys, that, you know, we don't have work to do or they don't have work to do. Of course, we're going to, you know, uh, make compromises and that's what a relationship is. Absolutely. But if you're changing your whole moral ideologies and way you live your cake 
for somebody else because it's shiny or vice versa, then you're wrong. You're a simp. There's no, there's, you cannot change my mind, guys. I've grown too much in this period, this this one year isolation. And I realize why I push this so hard to you guys, why you all need to get on monk mode, because you will be a beta simp by default if you if you first do not know what your cake mix is. How can you have any... Co I know I'm going on a complete different rant here. This is what my videos are about. How can you objectively understand the value in what good or bad icing is if you first don't understand what good cake is. If you've just been eating icing your whole life, there is no recollection or ability to have a contrast between good and bad. Some may be sweeter icing, some may be more sour icing, but you have lived your entire life chasing the wrong thing. You never knew that you could actually put your energy into creating your own cake. Now, is it as shiny up front? No. But will it sustain you and sell by itself? Absolutely. Right? I don't... So beautiful. So beautiful. The energy I'm trying to give you guys is I don't need a woman. And I don't say that in some like feminist, we don't need no man. No, 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 no. Not no politically correct BS. I'm for relationships. But I genuinely look at you dead in the eyes. I may be single and celibate to the day I die. And that's fine. Right? You guys can call BS on that if you want. I've been celibate for about a year now. I... Believe me, if I've had any effeminacy of wanting sucky sucky, it would have passed by now. I have my cake. Right? Is there room to improve? Yes. I still go through issues and I have insecurities and there's, there's room for me to grow. I'm very aware of that. Make your cake. That's monk mode. And dating coaches will tell you, there is no cake, go chase. Anyways, I, I digress. So red flag one and two guys, and really this, these videos are just mere reflections or representations of us as men, right? This is why I don't blame women. I, in fact, I don't really even care about women at all because a woman will be, like I just said, a representation of you as a man, a mere reflection of you. If you a bad woman, it's because you're a bad man. There's no other way to put it, you know? You a good cake, you only tolerate good icing. How do I fix women? I actually fix men. That's why I'm a man's channel. Right? It's like a domino effect. Oh, this will get women. If I create strong leaders as men, by default, you will help mold, create, or tolerate good women. Right? Good wives, good daughters. The lineage continues, right? Be the change you want to see in the world. Right? Who said that? Gandhi or something like that? I don't know. Right? Eventually, guys, and I'm going to digress here, but if we stop giving bad icing attention... Do you understand? And focus merely on our cake and only good icing when it comes, the bad icing eventually realizes, mm, you know what, girls? It ain't working. And they submit. They change. Do you understand? Very important. How do we change women? Stop tolerating bad behavior. How do we do that? Ignore it. Right? And not in like a sweep it under the rug way, but like, don't accept it. If a neighbor comes to your door and is a person you don't like, do you let them into your house? No, you say kick rocks, beat it. I don't talk, I, I don't enter. You're not coming to the party. So eventually they realize I got to smarten up my act if I'm going to come to this party, right? And that's what women do. They're malleable. They change. They become more feminine. They, whatever, you know, you're looking for. And then from that, you say, okay, you've changed. You can come in now. Great. Right? Do you understand? Anyways, so what's the third red flag to look out for? Again, I, I made this all up on this the fly. I let the Holy Spirit, my goal is to be as open and I say, God, you speak through me. Tell these men as well as myself what you want to be heard, right? I don't script any of my videos. I don't, in fact, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't even record until I feel God telling me, right? I, I was supposed, supposed to on paper record this video yesterday and the day before that. And because the inspiration wasn't there, I didn't like, because I thought I was like, oh, you know, I got to record. I didn't pull out my notes of like, oh, what video? No, no, no. I said, baby, no problem. God, when you are ready, when you want a video idea, when you want to speak, you let me know. And then I kind of went to bed, woke up. I was like, oh, three red flags. Okay. You know, I can do that. Make a nudge, right? How to nudge. Boom. There's not David speaking. These are little energy updates for you guys because I realize I'm one of the best men's channels on YouTube point blank period. This channel is going to blow up. I have no question or doubt about it. 
And I mean, if it doesn't, that's fine. But like, I would hope more men uh, learn this stuff. You know, I don't really care so much about vanity metrics and oh, crazy amount of subscribers. You know, that is part of it. Cool. But I just know like, this is what men need to hear. Guys, like, let's be completely honest here. No other channel speaks of this. And if they do, that's great. Like, I, I, I want that. But they don't. They don't. Men need to hear this. This will change the world. Better than your Hamza channels near this, near that. There's no shots fired. It's just majority of channels, guys, and I think you're starting to wake up. They're not that good. They don't know that much, right? They kind of just, you know, make clicky things. It's not a shot at him or anyone. There are a lot of great channels. They've done their part, but we need more men to speak of Christ and to be virtuous and to be celibate till marriage and to get on monk mode. I don't, I don't know any other channels speaking of this. Anyways, it's, it's not, I digress. The third red flag. This kind of ties everything together. What is God saying within me? This is if a woman, your woman, does not submit to your authority. Because that goes to show, that kind of brings everything together. It shows that she does... Did you guys see that? My whole power just like shut up. That was really whack. Are we still good? Hello, hello, hello. Yo, yo, yo. That was... <laughs> everything just shut off, guys. Sorry about that. What I was saying is if she does not submit to your authority, guys, that goes to show, granted, let's say, and this is an insinuated or implied, that you've already built your cake. If you haven't built your cake, why would your woman or future woman trust your cake? That's like you saying, trust me, baby, I got a good cake. It's burnt, it's halfway built, like, that's your fault. If your cake is built and your woman's coming to your life and she still does not submit to your authority and trust you, let's, let's bring it to her, let's say your cake is built. That goes to show that she's disrespecting God. Right? Now, I think of my mother. My mom is a perfect example of this. I have proved myself worthy, and I'm not saying I'm marrying my mom or anything, but this is a good example because the majority of you, men, of you men have not done this. You have not accomplished this. Very few men have done this, and it's such a beautiful thing when you do. When you, through your actions, have convinced and shown your mom that you are a trustworthy, righteous man, and she listens to you, no matter what. When I chose my path of YouTube, when it was not popular, I was dead broke, it took me five years to finally make it, uh, my mom obviously was not on board, she was very against it, and despite that, I persevered, I didn't listen, I didn't succumb, I said no, this is the way, and when my channel cracked and I made it out, I moved out, I became a man on my own, from that point on, she submitted to my authority. Uh, my channel has changed so many times. There were so many things that maybe she didn't agree with. She thought, I don't know if you should speak about that. Be careful with this. But no matter what, she respected and accepted and trusted my judgment. I just saw her now. I picked up some food. I pick up some food from her house every so often. And every time I come and she asks how, how I am and, and what I'm doing, even though I'm speaking of controversial things, if I speak of Christ or this or this, even if she's a little confused or maybe she doesn't know as much, you can see it in her eyes and her heart that she's like, you've proven yourself to be correct. I trust you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. That is such a beautiful thing that very few of you men, unfortunately, will ever truly go through. You guys are still man children. You're babies. This, this goes with your father and your mother. My dad died, so I, I can't have him look at me and say, you know, that's good. But this is the ultimate goal. And if you have done this as a man, the 5% of you, you know what this is. You need the exact same thing from your wife. More from your wife. She lives with you, right? Wow, so beautiful. It... Guys, I almost like want to cry because like... Everything makes so much sense. This whole self-development game, it makes so much sense. It has nothing to do with women. Nothing. Women are a complete and final icing on the cake and even that i may be celibate and single for life and that's completely fine so i don't even need the icing like you, so many of you because you've been brainwashed to think this way are focusing on the absolute absolute last and wrong thing how do i pick up this how do i wear this how do i do this you're useless as a man you have no authority you have no autonomy your mother doesn't respect you like let's get your mom to respect you first before your future girlfriend or wife does let's try that you don't know what life is yet. And again, I'm still learning this. I need to make that clear. But that's what you focus on. Do you understand? That's what you spend your entire day building. 
So beautiful. And if God sees fit that he can add a woman to your life to accentuate that because she's attracted and and really, guys, it has nothing to do with how you look. It, it, it's, it's your godly essence. It's how you hold yourself, right? She's like, yo, this guy's got a good cake, a good business I can benefit from. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help him, obviously. Well, then great. So if there's one thing you guys can learn, please start building your cake. That's basically, that's the one thing I've said this entire duration of my channel. From the inception years back to now, it has not changed. How many YouTubers can genuinely look you in the eye and give you that advice? Because their advice changes every other video. It's a joke, guys. Like, my community is a joke. I hope you guys are waking up. I run this community, and not in an egoic way. Believe me, there are guys way above me that I, I watch. But my community, it's, it's full of crap. It's full of absolute degenerate crap. These guys are lost, they're confused, they kind of mean well, and they're trying. But they're just, we're just, we're just different, man. And maybe this is pride. Maybe it's me blowing off steam. I think I'm just stating the obvious. And uh, I'm just claiming my throne. I, I really believe that's it. So that's it, guys. I finished it there. Thank you so much for watching this. I genuinely love you all. There is so much room for me to grow. Follow Christ. Be more. Uh, be like him. But we are commanded. I believe it's Mark 7.24. Luke 7.24 and Mark 7.24 uh, to uh, judge righteously. So... Whenever you guys get upset that, you, David, you shouldn't judge like that. No, we are commanded to judge righteously. We know a tree by its fruit. And if there are certain individuals that are propagating certain narratives that are not conducive, it is my obligation. I am commanded to judge that as I judge myself and examine myself daily. So check yourself before you start judging me, okay? We're supposed to judge. Just make sure it's righteous judgment, right? So I love you guys. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. You guys know the flex. If you want to work with me, all my links are below. There's one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. Helping you transform your lives as men, following Christ, getting on monk mode. Just being based. There's, there's, there's nothing else. I'm hiding. I'm an open book. I'm learning and growing as you guys all are. I make mistakes. I sin. I have pride. I have things still. I'm a human just like you guys are, but we aim to get better, so... Uh, yeah, God, show me the path. Show me my mistakes, all right, if I, uh, if I overstep. Thank you, guys. I love you all. Comment. Do all that stuff. Share this video, guys. Like, let's make this channel go viral, man. It's about time. It's about time, bro. I got to hit the masses now. Like, this is what the world needs. No cap. Ain't nobody else speaking this stuff. Let's do this for God. Let's bring up the power of Christ. Like, let's, let's run this. Help me. Share it out. God, now's the time, all right? But uh, all in his time, you know, trust, okay? Thank you. Till then, links below. See you guys then. Much love. Till then, peace.